Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today let's take a closer look at these Knipex shears. Um, these guys are the 9505155s. Um, they are a uh, kind of a shear, scissors, snip, um, designed for electricians. Here's the, the packaging on this guy. Um, I assume that's electric shears, electrician's shears. Um, comes with a belt clip uh, sheath or, uh, to wear them. And this does rotate so you can uh, cant it, I guess, for fast draw. Um, and it's designed to cut through various uh, wires from metal wires um, or co copper wire, uh, solid core to um, large stranded insulated wires. Um, anyway, well, I'm not an electrician and I don't play one on TV, but um, I thought you might like to see these a little closer. I've been looking at them for a while. Um, these are actually a little bit smaller than I thought, but I really like the handles and uh, I knew Knipex would use really good steel. Um, these are a different kind of shear. These are the the um, vampire uh, shears or scissors, kind of, they call them a combo scissor, and they're designed for something different. These are more um, for scissor type cutting. These are more for wire work and snipping. Um, and they're, they're designed differently, they're shaped differently. Uh, this was the closest that I have, this Milwaukee here, um, has a heavy duty um, metal uh, formed handle set, and this goes all the way around. It's pretty solid, um, but um, not as uh, performance-oriented as, as I thought it would be. In fact, a lot of times, I, it, these blades here um, are good for uh, lots of things, but this actually gets in the way. Here's, here's or Kleins. Uh, they've got a couple different kinds. Um, these have integrated wire strippers on the top up here. Um, and this is more just like electrical snip or electrical snips or shears. Um, this is designed to rest into your palm, so you're closing them like that on the Knipex here. Looks like it's got both. It's designed both to use as a traditional shear like this or scissor, but also uh, with that extra flared and textured back um, for cutting through bigger stuff. So um, here's some computer cable. Um, it just snips through this like butter, no problem. Milwaukee does real well, um, but it definitely takes more um, effort. And then if you're using a straight edge like these, these Kleins, it takes a little bit more effort, but they are sharper. Um, if I move up to something heavier, actually I was going to cut through this and see, uh, cut through the big, big end here. It just, I mean, it's, it, it, it's just like butter. It's amazing. Um, you can see just even with, with two fingers, it's just so sharp, so simple. Um, let's try it on some larger cable. Um, I think this is triple 10 gauge here. Just snips right through it. Compare that to these Milwaukee's. Gotta open them pretty wide. They don't have much of a, a detent into the blade there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, I'd give that a nah. I don't think it quite works as well. Um, and the clines are next to impossible on something like that. <clears throat> I don't know if I should, I'm gonna lose a finger. But anyway. So, look at this. Look at these guys. Look at that. Left-handed, real easy. Now, if you have really good sh shears or snips, you want to keep them dedicated to the job they're designed for. So, as I've mentioned in other videos, you should have decoy tools. Here's my decoy shop snips. Hey, do you have some snips I could use? You know, or scissors? You bet! And they've got even a little cut out there. Might even be able to cut that. Yeah, nice. Look at that. I guess I could strip it. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so here you go. And guess what? Nobody's going to borrow my tools again. Um, I did a video on decoy tools. This is my decoy shear. Absolutely worthless. Um, and it stays up front. So if somebody wants to grab it, there it is. I keep the good stuff 
tucked away. Underneath here, let's take a closer look under this cap. Um, we've got a, a nut there that would allow you to tighten this. Look at that. That's just the bolt, no, no bolt head. So you can do a little bit of uh, tightening. Now obviously um, on shears like this, they should start to snug up at about this point. And that keeps the blades cutting at the right angle. If they just flip open, flop open and close, uh, that's why you get the imprecise cutting. So, you know, maybe I could fix these guys, I don't know, so they do cut. I'll break my Klein tip. By the way, remember that Klein that doesn't fit in an iPhone? I still haven't received my replacement. It's been over a month. I think I was, it was before Christmas. Still don't have it. Um, oddly though, Snap-on, I've had some replacements for a few Snap-on tools. Thought this one was kind of funny. Um, Here's the box, it just arrived, haven't opened it yet. I don't need to open it to know what's in here though. Um, Snap-on's replacing one of my tools because check it out. Wonder what's in here. Hmm, what would be in this box? I don't know, what would Snap-on be sending me? Anyway, for later. Anyway, so I thought you might like to see these in person. Uh, small, smaller two, or smaller wire, this I think is 12 gauge. It's a lot easier to move that up into your palm. Right there. Uh, here's some fuel line. You want to cut that stuff. Snips right through it nicely. See how the Milwaukee does on this. Huh. There we go. Anyway, super nice. Super nice. Um, I've been showing up a lot in my, uh, you know, Amazon thinks I might like these. And finally, there they are. Actually decided I'd get a set. Um, and I, I am thoroughly impressed with the blades um, and how well they perform in cutting tasks. It's just, they're just a joy to use. So easy. They just snip through things like butter. Definitely something that if you're looking for a pair of snips, Give these serious consideration. And with that, Doc out.